This video is only for educational purposes. Please seek the advice from a healthcare professional before making any decisions regarding Botox. The influence of social media seems to increase the interest in cosmetic procedures. This trend is especially evident in young women ages 18 to 29. A recent study conducted in 2019 reported that participants in this age group grew dissatisfied with their appearance as they continued to view images of celebrities and women that have undergone some form of cosmetic enhancement. Ultimately, these women expressed that social media heightened their desire to have cosmetic procedures done. One such popular procedure is Botox. Its prevalence has grown immensely over the years, where the ASPS reported 2018 held the highest number of Botox A injections, with more than 7.4 million just in that year. Cosmetic Botox is the first FDA-approved treatment that works to lessen the appearance of moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines. It's a quick treatment with minimal downturn, where Botox injections offer individuals a convenient, effective, and well-tolerated method to improve the appearance of facial lines and wrinkles. Facial lines are caused by a combination of factors such as age-related cellular changes, reduction of collagen, gravity, or damaged by free radicals from the sun and environment. The main cause of facial lines, however, is the repeated contraction of certain muscles. Repeated muscle contractions from frowning, squinting, or raising of the eyebrows causes skin to furrow and fold, gradually resulting in the formation of facial lines. Glabellar forehead furrows, commonly known as frown lines, lateral cantal rightids, typically referred to as crow's feet, and nasal labial folds known as smile lines are the most popular facial lines targeted by Botox. Botox is a type of neurotoxin, a substance that targets the nervous system to disrupt the nerve signaling processes that cause muscle contraction. In order for muscles to contract, the nerves release a chemical messenger, also known as a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine into the area where nerve endings meet muscle cells. This process can be thought of in terms of sending a letter. Your nerve cells send a letter containing acetylcholine to your muscle cells. Your muscle cells then receive this information and change the way they behave. In the case of acetylcholine, the letter contains information telling the muscles to contract. Botox can be thought of as a gatekeeper that prevents the letter from reaching its destination. Botox injections prevent acetylcholine from reaching the muscle cells and as a result, stop the muscles from contracting. This way, facial lines appear temporarily improved as the Botox toxin helps the muscles to become less stiff. Botox will work to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and keep the skin looking youthful. Now, although Botox is relatively safe, you may experience headaches, fever, and pain and swelling in the area of the injection. Depending on where you receive the injection, the side effects will vary. If, for example, you're treated within the eye area, you may have drooping eyelids or potentially uneven eyebrows. Whereas, a crooked smile may result from injections close to the mouth. The asymmetry is unintentional, however, and may take a few weeks to subside. Whether Botox is used for therapeutic or cosmetic use, studies have shown if it's used consistently over the course of multiple years, you're more at risk to experience the following long-term effects. These include difficulty breathing, speaking, chewing, and swallowing. But you may also have blurred vision, generalized muscle weakness, and heart palpitations. If you experience any of these effects after you recently have received Botox, seek medical attention immediately. Now an interview with an expert in the field. What is the best age to receive a Botox treatment? The FDA has approved the use of Botox in patients 18 and older. There is no upper age of limit for people who wish to receive Botox. Overall, the right age to start Botox depends on the person and their skin. How long after Botox do you see results? 
In general, you can see the effects of Botox as early as three to four days after the injection. Most patients will see results within 10 to 14 days, but should wait the full 14 days to see the maximum results. How long does a Botox treatment last? Eventually, the action of the neurotoxin will wear off and the nerves will again be able to send signals to the muscles to start contracting again. In general, Botox lasts approximately three to four months. After you've watched this video, we hope you've learned a little something about Botox.